Okay, so this video will show you how to get the vertical asymptotes of a given function. So it says here from the example that uh, we need to determine the vertical asymptote of the function f of x equals x plus 2 over x squared minus 2x. The concept of vertical asymptotes is that in the graph, so we know we learn from algebra that the vertical asymptote is basically a vertical line. So say a dotted line, this is a vertical asymptote, wherein your graph will never cross. So maybe a graph can be approaching this line following this path and on the other side it can be like this okay or it can be on the other uh, direction it can be also going up so this one is going up or it can be going down but the, th but the point is the graph will not cross this line and this line is what we call the vertical asymptote okay now but given a function how do we know uh, the vertical asymptote how do we find the equation of the vertical asymptote if you recall um, given a function you can identify the domain of the function and the domain is basically all the numbers that has or has a value on the function and for the function f of x equals x plus 2 over x squared minus 2x so if f of x is equal to x plus 2 over x squared minus 2x then this function will not be defined so let's simplify this x plus 2 this is x and x minus 2 so factor out x this will not be defined so not defined when so not defined when x is equal to 0 that is when x is equal to 0 and when x is equal to 2 so they're not defined they cannot have a value in the graph and these are the candidates for a vertical asymptote actually in this example these are the equations or these are the values of x where we can have the vertical asymptotes and this is actually the equations of the vertical asymptote so the vertical asymptotes are you have to write it in a, an x equal to a number form it should be a line so it should be uh, name as a line as a linear equation and the other one is x equals to 2 that's it so find where the function is undefined and then those numbers will determine the vertical asymptote again don't forget how to write the vertical asymptotes properly so x equal to a number so in this case x equal to 0 and x equal to 2 now there are some exceptions to the rule there will be cases wherein you identify where the function is undefined and then it will turn out to be not a vertical asymptote so just to give you a special case so a special case because it's very easy to find see yeah, I just have to find where it is undefined and then that's it so the special case is let's see I'll make a simple uh, change on our given so say what if I make this x minus 2 and this is x squared minus 2x so again if we simplify this is x minus 2 over x times x minus 2 and as you can see this can be cancelled and this will just turn into 1 over x and if you look at the resulting function this will be uh, particularly not defined at x equal to 0 so you can say x cannot be equal to 0 so a vertical asymptote is that is the x equal to 0 equation now what happened to the x minus 2 actually when there's a factor in the denominator that has been cancelled then instead of becoming as a vertical asymptote that will be a hole in the graph so take note x is still not defined at 2 so the graph cannot be continuous at that number meaning there should be a gap but the gap will not be a vertical asymptote there's another kind of gap and that is when say let me create 
another graph here said so this is the two if that factor has been has been cancelled a possible picture of that graph is that there's no value at that two but the graph can look like this okay so say this goes down here so there's a hole at x equal to two but still the vertical asymptote is a zero so if that is a vertical asymptote so let me, let's take this away so say x is equal to zero vertical asymptote so this graph can be in this way okay so again let me summarize the idea to find the vertical asymptotes you just have to identify where is the function not defined and you will have the candidates okay candidates means they can be maybe they're not okay so not defined at x equal to 0 x equal to 2 if you look at the simplified form there is no way that you can cancel x minus 2 by the way don't cancel it at x and x there's a plus here that's not allowed so you cannot factor out you cannot cancel out x you cannot cancel out x minus 2 so both of these numbers are the location of the vertical asymptote and to write them properly it should be x equal to 0 and x equals 2 so you don't say uh, horizontal uh, vertical asymptote as 0 and 2 so you have to say x equal to 0 and x equals 2 now the special case is when an expression can be cancelled then sorry for this so then you can um, eliminate that as a vertical asymptote option and that will turn to be a whole so in this case you only answer x equals 0 okay so that's it